I'm Pete? Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, Brad, we're going to talk about a secret weapon that you can use for knee replacement exercises and stretches, both for prior to surgery and after surgery. Right. And maybe it may be, you know, you won't have to have surgery if you do some of these exercises. Sure. It's possible. And, you know, they do this all the time in the hospitals we work with. They do have uh, pre uh, prehab. Prehab education things are give them exercises to do at home before surgery, which makes the rehab afterwards much more uh, quicker and better results. But before we reveal oh, the secret weapon, Brad, yes. we got to keep people hanging on the yeah. you know, limb a little bit. Um, if you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to Facebook. Brad, you're missing oh, your job here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody remembers where we're at. It's Bob and Brad at Facebook. Uh, Brad and I, as children, it's sad, we were not liked. That's hard to believe, isn't it, Brad? Yeah, it is. And so we're trying to turn things around. Yeah, yeah. So I'm showing them down here, Brad. That's probably a bratty kid. <laughs> so. All right, so what we're talking about today, Brad, the secret weapon is the knee glide. And. Uh, the thing, first thing you're going to notice about this is how lightweight it is. Now, I'm going to show you this, Brad. You can actually do curls with one finger here. Sure. It's so lightweight. What is it? Less than five pounds? Five pounds? It's less than three. Less than three ah, pounds. Ah, what a memory. Yeah. It's a gray hair. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, the thing about this is if you look at the reviews on Amazon, they're all fives. Sure. I think we had one four. I'm going to go find that guy and why he gave Yeah. It. He said it was a good thing, but he gave us a four. Well, he probably never, he's probably a teacher. I bet you never gave anybody a Yeah, a. he never gave anybody He's a B guy. Yeah. So <laughs> anyway, this thing that works out really well. Um, if you're going to have uh, any type of knee surgery, this is your, your deal to go to. Right. This, is the, this includes uh, meniscus. I've had really good success with the meniscus surgery on it. But there's so many knees, you know. Yeah, knees are a problem, aren't they? No. So, so the first thing, um, you know, for prehab, for, for prior to yeah, your surgery, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you have as much knee bend and knee straightening as you can get. Sometimes that alone will actually decrease your pain. We have found if you're lacking like a little a bit of knee extension, you regain that. Sometimes your pain levels go down. It worked with my wife. Um, and, and I'm going to show you some of the things she just a, a, actually did with, um, with the knee glide. So one, one thing you can start off just by, you know, just trying to get some movement in the knee because it's very good to try to get some movement. Now, one thing you're going to notice here is, look how my it's kind of putting stress on my ankle, Brad. Kind of point it forward. And, yeah. and, you know, this will happen with certain people if uh, that, uh, you know, for whatever reason, they may have arthritis in their ankle. Yeah. Um, but when the knee is, has a problem, oftentimes the hip or the ankle does as well. So what, what we're going to do is we go ahead and put it up on the stand here, and now it's a lot more comfortable. This The first one I noticed is when my wife pointed that out. She goes, well, it's uncomfortable when it's flat. Right. So she put it up, and then she was able to. So you can do this while you're watching TV. It helps promote you know, getting that synovial fluid, right. gets more blood flow to the knee. It's just going to make it feel better while you're, you know, prior to surgery. And this is exactly why we invented this because of this. You know, the old way was throw a towel on the floor and, and do that, which kind of works, but you cannot do that, and you can't use a towel on carpet. No, and the other thing is th this glides so much better oh, even yeah. than that on the, oh, yeah. the floor. Oh, yeah. you got to so. have a pretty shiny floor to really yeah, make we, that we work. Yeah, we got things glide. So, the, the, you know, the other thing I want you to try, this is where we're talking about, this is the actual treatment that you might try prior to the surgery. You're actually going to go ahead and put your heel on here, and you're going to straighten it out, and you're going to do pressure on, pressure off. Now, I got the toe. Brad, could you set up so you're facing the camera? Oh, sure, that's so a good idea. So you the way the toe is yeah, going. Yeah, well, with that, no, you're doing the profile, I'm doing the, Direct the, on, the front view. The yeah. frontal view. It's tough on them to look at the front of me because who wants to? But anyways, we're focusing on the knee. There we go. So the first one you're doing is you're going all the way. You're, and again, this is especially true if you're lacking a little mm -hmm. bit of knee extension. And you can tell that by putting both knees out there. And if one is straight and one is bent, you're going to be able to see that. Now, I'll do it on this one. This one is a slightly bent. This one goes all the way straight. And it can be real subtle. It can just be like, oh, I guess that one isn't as straight as the other one. Yeah, and what we're referring to typically, a, a sore knee will oftentimes lack full range of motion. And if you can regain that range of motion, the pain can come down. So this is why we're doing this. So yeah, again, we're going pushing on right above the knee, pressure on, pressure off. We say the words. Because that actually tells you how long to do it. Right. Pressure, pressure on, on, pressure, pressure off. off. Pressure, pressure on, on, pressure off. 
Now, the, the one that worked for my wife is I actually had her turn the foot out like this and then pressure on, sure. pressure off. So, so that's going to show up on like there. That, yep. Yep. And this thing works out really well for this. Yep. Uh, you know, it's nice. Um, you can actually, you know, again, she could do it right on the, on, off the couch. Right. You know, so not trying to imply that my wife's watches a lot of TV or anything, but she, she's not a couch potato. She's not a couch well, potato, we'll but she could also do it at her desk right. when she's working. So, <laughs> hope she doesn't see this video. All right. All right. Then the other one, Brad's going to show the last one. You can actually try turning it in. Right. And, and I just had a woman with severe arthritis in her knee. And with her, when she went in, that's the one that yeah, did. felt better, went further. And it was, you know, that was the way to go. So you have to experiment a little bit uh, on that. And of course, um, you can also work on bending the knee. Let's say you're lacking some bend. Like you, you bring your knee up like this. You, I'm going to check this one out. Now I check this one out and I'm like, oh, that one doesn't go as far. And it probably hurts a little bit. Up and it probably there. hurts a little bit. Right. So now you're going to want to try to get some more knee bend. The little trick to that is now you're going to go ahead and, and set up and you're going to actually grab the lower bone here and you're going to turn it toward the other knee. This way. So he, Brad is on his right leg and he's turning it uh, counterclockwise to his, his other knee. Mm -hmm. I'm turning mine clockwise. So I'm actually trying to turn the bone and when I turn the bone, you're going to go ahead and bring it back like this at the same time. I'm keeping pressure on the whole time. I'm not, I'm not letting up on that pressure the whole time. Now, this should feel fine. I mean, right. it should not hurt or increase the pain. It actually should feel better with more movement. Right. If it makes it worse, then it's not the right way to go. Yeah, and generally what you'll find is that it, you can move it a little bit further after you've done a couple repetitions. And with those, I do maybe 10, and, and that's not one I didn't do every hour. I right. mean, you could do it um, two or three times two, a day. Two or three times a day. And again, so. it should, as you do more of them, loosen up, feel better, and that's the exact response I had with the patient I was referring to. Now, you're not going to do these after you have your knee replacement. No. That, that's not, that, these are only before you have a knee replacement to see if it decreases your pain. The other thing you can do with this is just straight, straight old strengthening. So if you put it up like this, you're working the quadricep a little bit more. Sure. And if I turn it around this way, I'm working the hamstring a little bit right. more. Okay, so let's say all that you know goes fine, but you're still having the knee replacement. Yep. So now you're gonna go ahead and uh, after the knee replacement, generally uh, on the first day maybe, you're gonna be laying in bed, moaning and groaning. And uh, <laughs> Brad's gonna go ahead, he put a towel on, on the knee glide here. And this is a great way to just start trying to get some bend uh, you know, you could, you could be laying flat on your back yeah. or you could be sitting up like this. The reason I have the towel is because after surgery, you're not going to have shoes on. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and this really is a big advantage, you know, in the hospital bed because yeah. it, not only for the patient but for the therapist. Yeah. It makes everyone's job a lot easier, yeah. and, and it, it works so well. Yeah, and, and you know, you're going to find out that you're in control, you know, yeah. because people who've had knee replacement, don't they don't like other people pushing on their knee. Yeah, you know, you're afterwards. pretty uh, sensitive about that. And, and as quickly as you can, though, you want to progress to doing it in the chair, yep. I, I would say. And, and generally, a lot of times, people, again, like to stand up. It just is a little more comfortable. And I, I tell people, just go, go as, as, you know, as you're comfortable. And after, what, what I tell them to do is do a bunch of repetitions, and then every so often, you're going to give it a little bit of stretch. Coming so, down, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going like this. And now I'm going to give it a little bit of stretch. And generally what I do is I take my ankle, cross it over my other ankle, and I pull back a little bit. Pull back a little bit. Give it a little stretch. I'm, I'm in charge. And yeah. That's what everybody and, likes. And when you're in charge of your own body, yeah. everything goes better. Life goes better. Your knee range of motion will improve. I'm going to show a little trick. We're using the stretch out strap. You could use a uh, belt. Yep. Um, you could use a, a long a, belt. Yep. They actually have devices on the internet that do, are made for this, and it would work really well with uh, the knee glide. I'm going to go around the back. You just need a smooth chair that it'll slide around the corner well, and then I'm going to pull. You can see I'm just using a, a basic pulley system, and there you go. Yep, there you go. Stretch, stretch, stretch. So and I relax. had a friend, Brad, that uh, just had a knee replacement done, and I, I brought all this stuff, to, all this equipment to his house. Yeah. And he gave me everything back except the knee glide. He's still using it. <laughs> yep. So, and it's fine. You know, he's a good friend. So, I mean, you're uh, not going to charge him? I'm not going to charge oh, him. Oh, you're a nice guy, Brad. So, 
All right, the, the other thing, Brad, is um, you, you, you can also work on extension um, with the knee glide, as we were showing before. You can start working on getting a little bit of that knee uh, straightening. Right. So you can go ahead and work on that. And again, you can do a little pressure on, pressure off yep. with that. Uh, and, and you'll find, especially after the knee replacement, you know, some people have luck bending it, and then, but straightening it is equally as important as getting it to bend. You want to get full extension as soon as you can, and that's going to, you know, promote a good quality gait and get you back to where you want to be. Well, one thing I failed to mention, Brad, you know, after you go across the ankle, so yeah. you're going to get so far after a while and you can't, I can't go any further. So then you put your heel on the edge of the mm. foot plate here and you can actually push way right, back. Right, right. So, and you know, and if your wife good. is mad at you, she can go on there and she can push a little bit too and get that oh, extra yeah, she range. Can, she can, you know, are you a baby, a three year crybaby? And she, <laughs> she'll, I'm sure she'll. Well, yeah, the, these whatever. people may not understand. It's yeah, a that, therapist you know, it's kind of a issue. joke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and you know, and then of course you'll go to quadricep and hamstring strengthening also with that. Right, you so bet. You'll you'll do it this way, and you'll also go the other way. So, it's, we're right now are quite proud of this device. Yeah, it, it is a it's a it's a breakthrough for total knees. I had a patient with a meniscus and it worked wonderful. He did it as rehab under his desk while he's at work. Oh sure. Oh yeah, and you could do the same thing here. Uh, after a knee. Little silicone works really good on this, right? Little well, it was, yeah, it, it, was make, it was quiet office and people could hear the slight noises making. So he took a little silicone and he dabbed it on there and it <laughs> made yeah. it quiet and it really goes smooth. Yeah, then it really you, smooths you, down, yeah, yeah, then it's like you're going on air. So, well, one right. way or another, have fun, be careful, and take care of your knees. Thanks for watching.